two parallel lines, say like L and M, and you have an image over here, let's call this the pre-image before, what we're gonna do is we're gonna reflect it over line L, and then we're gonna reflect it over line M. Okay, so when you do a reflection, what you wanna do is you wanna measure the perpendicular distance to that line of reflection, and you wanna go the same distance, okay, on the other side of that line. So you're, you're folding it over the line, but you wanna think about going perpendicular in the same distance. So if I do that, I'm just kind of drawing this freehand, but I just wanna show you, what you can see here is originally this flag was po pointing to the left, right? When we reflect it, now it's pointing to the right, okay? And if we reflect it a second time, okay, so again, look at this distance here. We wanna go the same distance, perpendicular to the line of reflection. You can see we're getting a flag that looks something like this. Now you can see again, it's pointing back to the left. So what ends up happening is this pre-image, we'll just call this A, we'll call this one A prime, we'll call this one A double prime. What ends up happening is you reflect it, and you reflect it again, now it's in the same orientation as it was originally. But what happened is the figure actually slid, it actually translated, okay, from here to here. Now the question that sometimes they'll ask you in your class, in your geometry class is, how far does it slide or does it translate from A to A double prime? And what you're interested in is you're interested in this distance between the two parallel lines, of course the perpendicular distance. Let's just say that this is uh, two inches. Well then what would happen is the figure would actually slide double. So it actually would be a translation of four inches. So that's the key. So a composition of reflections ends up being a translation or a slide, however you wanna say it and it ends up sliding double the distance, okay, between the two parallel lines.